Before I start this video, I just want to remind everyone that the challenge for reaching a thousand subscribers is still going. <laughs> I must remind you that if I reach a thousand subscribers, I will show you my personal daily driver and not just complaining about other people's daily drivers. So without further ado, let's start the episode. BMW 3 Series E46 For almost 50 years, the 3 Series BMW has been an icon both as a sports saloon and as an executive car. The E46 had its debut in 1998 and it was a major success, being sold in great numbers all over the world. The construction quality followed very high standards, the engines were all strong and capable and the design was timeless. Production continued all the way to 2005 with a minor mid-time facelift. There are several reasons why this car made this list, but most of all it is because it's one of the, my favorite cars since the, the very first day I saw it. The BMW 5 Series E39 the fourth generation of the 5 Series started all the way back in 1995. Who could tell just by looking at it? With a wide range of excellent engines, these cars are an excellent choice if you want a long distance cruiser or a big family saloon. Build quality was superb and the interior was basically a scaled down version of the one in the BMW 7 Series. The E39 was so successful that even the guys at Top Gear were staggered that BMW replaced it when they did. The reason this car made this list is that you can find them almost everywhere and in good condition. And now they are relatively affordable since they have already been followed by two generations. Pay very close attention to imports since they might have had their mileage messed with. And of course this was one of the most modified BMWs. So check that as well. The BMW 1 Series E87 I said it in the review, but I will say it again. This is the most fun you can have in the compact class. Being totally honest, I didn't like the 1 Series when it came out. I didn't like the concept, I didn't like the way it looked and never thought it could be a good car. But then, I knew someone who had one, and this car started gradually to make sense. Don't think of it as a small family car, rather a sports car with five doors. There are better hatchbacks, but none will have rear-wheel drive, good weight distribution, and the special driving experience this one gives you. The one that made it to this list is the first generation, since it was very popular, now it is affordable, and I recommend specifically the 5-door version. Because with the 3-door, you might as well have the coupe. Practicality is very important, and the 3-door becomes almost redundant. Beware of the history these cars have with ownership and maintenance, and you will have yourself a great experience. Hi guys, thank you so much for the support you have been giving me, I want to thank you all. Don't forget to subscribe, share what you think in the comments and also like this video. 